Hi there, welcome along to another workout for you to row along to. Here we go, it's the carrot t-shirt. There you go, don't snap the carrot and a wee carrot on the back. I told you I'd make it. Anyway, we are on week three and this is session one. Now because the end of week three has a 500 meter test, which is me doing the Scottish Indoor Rowing Championships and hopefully you doing your own test, we've kind of shifted the order. So what that means is that today is our top tier high intensity interval training session. And that means Tabata, Tabata, Tabata. Yep, we're doing that one again. <laughs> so what it is, is it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times, and then you're gonna have a three minute rest, you're gonna do that again, have a three minute rest, and you're gonna do it again. Now those 20 second efforts are gonna be at max power. Now, you might want to cap your stroke rate. I'm gonna be up around about 36 strokes a minute because I don't really want you just flailing up and down the rail. So that effort of control will be good for you. Now, because this is a very much top tier workout, what we're gonna do is a 10 minute warm up. If you're not gonna be warm enough by the end of this 10 minutes, then please continue. I really don't want there to be any injuries caused by cold muscles. Okay, right, so let's start off by setting up our machines. So drag factor first, if you don't know about drag factor, then please check out the video on the YouTube channel. Next up, your monitor, set it to eye height so you don't have to look up and you don't have to look down. And finally, the foot strap should cover the bottom lace on your shoe, or if you're in socks like me, let you hinge comfortably forwards at the front. So a 10 minute warm up, and we're gonna just go gradually up and down, up and down, getting faster and faster so you're nice and warm. But follow me, I'll try and give you enough notice. So, we're going to start off at 18 strokes per minute. Pace will be run about 2k plus 24, so basically just a nice gentle row. In three, two, one, go. So, this first two minutes is just about getting your body moving. You might have had a full day working on a building site and be absolutely warm and limber and everything, or you might have had a day like me sitting at a desk editing television programs, in which case I really need to let my body know that it's about to go up to max effort for a while. But for the time being, I just need to get these muscles moving, get my heart rate up a little bit, and start to just get a feel for the mechanics of the stroke. So this first minute is really just about getting moving. And then as we go through the rest of the warm up, that's when the mechanics of the stroke come into play. So now that we're a minute down, I just want you to think about your legs. Just make sure to push out from the front. It really does help to visualize pushing the machine away from you. And I don't just mean just imagine, just think of it that way. I mean literally think about pushing the machine through the wall. The difference that it makes can be huge just in terms of that point of connection at the front where you really slam down those heels and put some force into the machine. Okay, in four strokes time, we're gonna go up to 20 strokes a minute. So, two more strokes. One more stroke. And we're gonna go about two or three seconds faster as we increase this stroke rate. You should find that just by increasing stroke rate, you're automatically speeding up. You shouldn't really particularly be thinking about a conscious massive addition of power into the machine here in order to go a couple of seconds faster. But just keep on thinking about that leg drive and then maybe just think about your arms. Are they nice and straight? as you engage that foot drive. All right, in three strokes time, we're gonna go back to the 18 strokes a minute for one minute. Okay, so back to 18 strokes a minute. Just ease off a couple of seconds. 
and just think about nice straight arms right at this point here as you connect oops my watch shouting at me yes I'm rowing no seriously I'm rowing could you turn off thank you oh, every time I should just put a sticker up on the wall reminding me to turn my watch on right so in six strokes time we're going to go up to 22 strokes per minute and our pace will be 2k plus 15 okay so two more strokes one more stroke so we're jumping up to 22s come on in 2k plus 15 so for me that means that with my average 2k time right now of 145 I am rowing at two minutes flat we're only doing this for 30 seconds two more strokes one more stroke there we go and back down to 18 strokes a minute and your slower pace and this is all we're going to do for the rest of the warm-up is get slightly faster for 30 seconds and then go back down to 18 strokes a minute for 30 seconds so two more strokes and then we're up to 24 strokes a minute one more and 2k plus 12 here we go this is a much easier maths calculation one stroke every two and a half seconds two k plus twelve pace just let your stroke rate be what guides the increase in pace one more stroke here okay and back to eighteen strokes a minute start to think about your back swinging from that forward lean at the front as you drive into the swinging into a 11 o'clock position at the back two more strokes and we're up to 26 strokes a minute and 2k plus 9 here we go try and make sure to get up to these paces don't go too much faster than them but try to at least hit the right speed after all we're trying to get progressively warmer and warmer here two more strokes one more and back to 18s you shouldn't feel too zapped through these 30 second efforts you should feel you're able to lay in that speed change the breathing might go up a bit but this shouldn't drain you before today's session two more strokes and we're up to 28 strokes a minute and 2k plus 5 here we go this one might take a little bit more of a launch from your legs because it's a bit of a jump it's a four second increase from the last one so you'll have to lay in a bit more power from your legs two more strokes one more notice I'm not saying you'll have to pull heavier I'm just saying you have to put more power from the legs there you go either I missed the stroke or I took one too many All right, three two and we're up to 30 strokes a minute next one and 2k plus two go one every two seconds 
2K plus two. Like I say, more power from the legs. Try and get to that pace. Don't cheat yourself out of a warm up. Three, oh no, three, sorry, two, one. <laughs> Still can't count. So we're back at our final lay in before the next increase. So we're going to go up to 32 strokes a minute and 2k, well faster than 2k next is what you're aiming for, okay? One more stroke. Here we go, 32 strokes a minute. Get those hands away from you and over your knees and that will help your recovery which is all important when it comes to higher stroke rate rowing it's not just about the drive it's about how quickly and smoothly you can recover one more stroke there we go so just paddle home make sure to still connect with the flywheel on each of these strokes as you paddle home get the timing right at the front to pick up the flywheel here so you get maximum leg power into it all done well for the warm-up so that's the warm-up all finished keep on moving up and down the rail have yourself a quick drink and I'll explain one more time what it is we're doing today. So the key word for today then is Tabata. We're going back to what we did in week one, session two, where we're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times. Then we're taking a three minute rest, doing it again, and then three minute rest and doing it again. Okay, so this is a very much top tier workout. Now, if you're going to program your monitor rather than just doing this as a just row, then what I suggest you do for these roll along videos is you just program in four minute intervals with undefined rest in between. Because if you do the 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three minutes rest thing, we're gonna end up hideously out of sync just because of a quirk of the PM5 monitor, okay? So uh, if you're gonna do this on your own and not as a roll along video, then program in the 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then the three minute rest. And that will then give you data to come back and look at how you got on at each of those 20 second bursts. However, because of the sync issue, we can't really work it this way for the row along videos, right? Until we get that sorted, this is the, the way to do it. Um, so remember, your effort on this is gonna be max, okay? Stroke rate, you wanna have some kind of control over it, but actual effort into it, these 20 second things must be full power. This is your chance to really think about power from your legs and speed at the same time, ready for your test at the end of the week, okay? So this is pretty much your last chance to really try and get uh, the wind up your fur and to be going as fast as you possibly can. There we go. So hopefully my waffle has given your muscles enough time for the energy to recharge. Have a quick last drink before we start this first interval. So remember, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We are going in three, two, one, go. <sighs> So I'm a bit higher than I imagined stroke rate wise, but right now that's comfortable. Three, two, one. Okay, so in and around my 500 meter pace, going in three, two, one, go. These intervals come thick and fast on you. Almost surprised myself with the start of this one. Three, two, one. Okay, two down. Get ready for the next one. In three, two, one, go. Try and keep your technique close to what 
you know you can do. Three, two, one. Nice straight arms at the drive. Three, two, one. Go. Power from your legs. Then finish strong with your arms. Three, two, one. Halfway there. Five, three, two, one, go. Keep your stroke rate up. Get that handle away from you. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. I'm up in the 40 stroke rate wise. Four, three, two, one, go. Remember, the power all comes from your legs. Well, not all, but two, one. Ah, oh, this is tough. How are you feeling? Three, two, one, go. Keep your forward lean as you engage at the front of the machine. Three, two, one. Oh, one more to come, then a rest. Four, three, two, one. Come on. Yeah, legs fatiguing now. Almost there. Three, two, come on. Oh, yeah. oh, that was awful. How are you feeling? Oh, that was. Terrifically harder than I remember it being. <sighs> Counting down from three, two, and one each time is robbing me of a couple of breaths, but don't really think that's got anything to do with it. It'd be interesting to come back and compare how far I got the last time I did this on that first interval. That was what, 952 that time. Now if you've started just to just row on your monitor, press a button, any button now, apart from the menu of course, to keep your monitor alive. Otherwise it'll turn off a minute into the rest. She'll have to do that at the end of the first minute, the end of the second minute, and then do it again with like 30 seconds to go into the next one. If you're on undefined rests, you only have to press a button when you get towards the start of the next interval. Oh, make sure and have a drink. Oh wow, I'm amazed at how tough that felt. Could be because it's the first session of the week. Could be that I was pushing it harder than I was last time, but I don't think I was. It'll be interesting to see what the second interval is like. I mean, last time, certainly, first time we did this, we did the 20 minute warm up. So it could just be that 
that 10 minute warm up wasn't enough for me. But after the first 20 second effort, I was certainly warm. <laughs> so I don't really think it's, I can blame taking a shorter warm up. If anything, legs should be less, uh, uh, less de-energized. No, that's not the right word, however. All right, got 30 seconds to go. Get yourself strapped in if you're not already. If you're on undefined rests, then you might want to press your button to get ready for the next interval now. And sit and wait as we're going in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Now this is what we've been training for, remember? Is to be able to go fast and maintain it. 3, 2, one and all the low rate stuff is about grinding in the right technique four three two one go because if you have a good technique as a foundation hopefully it won't fall apart now three two one. Oh, I keep missing that last stroke. Three, two, one, go. Push that machine away from you. Keep your forward lean. Three, two, Excuse me. Oh, I can't get the pace back up. Come on, John. Three, two, one. Come on. Good posture. Almost there. Three, two, one, halfway through, three, two, one, go, ah, ah, come on, keep the power up, two, one, ah, What's happened? Come on. Four, three, two, one. Go. Get the handle away. Keep stroke rate up. Three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one. Straight arms at the drive. Four, three, two. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, one more. Come on. Three, two, one. Hold it together. There's only one more. You can get to the end. Four, three, two. You may have to give me a minute.
that was awful. <sighs> Not only from a performance point of view, but just how it felt. It was like someone had pulled the plug on me. Just shows the first one. 952 meters, 206 average, factoring in the rest periods. Press your button to keep your monitor alive, by the way. Oh, so that was 952, 206. That one just then was 926, so 26 meters shorter and 209.6 average pace. So really slow across four minutes. That's what uh, three point six times two, seven and a half seconds ish of a pace difference. So not looking forward to this third one. I hope you're well. On the one hand, I hope you're doing better than I am. On the other hand, I hope you're put, putting everything that you can into this so that you're similar to what I'm like, but this is hard work. Oh. All right, make sure and press, your, press a button, maybe the top button, just to keep your monitor alive if you're on just row. Have a drink. Make sure you're strapped in. Move up and down the rail a little bit just to ease off any tight muscles. I know my hamstrings are really suffering from this. I guess it's from that compression point at the front at doing such a high stroke rate that they're loading up a lot more than they normally would. All right, 20 seconds to go. If you're on undefined rests, Press your button now to get primed for the last interval. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Probably a little less talking this time. As I wonder, if that was part of the course. Two, one. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Go. Power from the legs, remember. Heels down. Connect with the flywheel. Three, two, one. Keep your forward lean as you connect. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Straight arms. Let the power flow. Three, two, one. Don't fight the power. Not today. Four, three, two, one. Strong finish though. Let your arms pull in. At the end, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Go. Posture. Open your sit bones. 
four, three, two. Oh, feeding. Four, three, two, one. Keep that handle away. Four, three, two, one. Two more to go. Three, two, one. Go. Ah. Come on, surge. Blue flame. Uh. All your keywords, come on. Three, two, one. Oh. One more. Three, two, one. Come on. Give it everything. When you race. Come on. Three to go. Three. Two. Oh. That, I think, takes the trophy as the hardest roll long workout I've done. I'll have to flash up how I got on last time round, compare it, but dropped another 13 meters on that one. Oh, let's just take a moment to remember how to get oxygen into our lungs again. Oh, well, if it was that tough, I think it was a very important session to do today because that's our last chance for proper speed work before our test on session five of this week. So I think that was a very revealing, important row to do today. And hopefully the benefits of it will pay off come session five. Right, let's kick into a cool down in three, two, one, go. Oh, ease yourself in. Just take 10 seconds to just get up to pace. If you've got any tight, strained muscles from that, and then just try and ease into a 18 strokes a minute, 2K plus 30 row. Enough to engage your muscles, but not enough to tip you over the edge, away from the recovery, which hopefully you will so desperately need right now. And just getting moving, keeping your muscles pumping, will help how they cool down at the end of today's session. So hopefully they're not gonna be all cramped up and sore at the end of it. But make sure to have something to drink, something to eat, if you have any particular tight muscles, like me and my hamstrings, maybe spend some time stretching yourself off. The last thing you want is to pick up an injury when there's a test only four days away. Anyway, I hope you, I was about to say enjoyed, but Hard to say, at the time I enjoyed that. 
I'm sure I'll look back on it later and go, wow, that's a great session to come back to over and over again. But at the time, couldn't have paid me to do it again. It's a good thing I do these things for free. <laughs> so anyway, session two is going to be a long, steady state recovery and ooh, fuel tank building row. So make sure and do that one sensibly because then session three will be another top but it's not going to be a busting one like that it'll be more it'll take you up and down it'll be a bit more you'll see what i mean when it comes to session three that's the last of the top end ones for this week now we've still got two weeks to go after this week so that may not be the last time you see it but anyway i'm gonna take myself off have a drink have some chicken salad get back to work uh, so might as well just hashtag up the carrot so hashtag don't snap the carrot, even though today we were nowhere near talking technique and carrots because I've got a t-shirt, let's make it the hashtag. So make sure and click subscribe and the little bell icon so you get notified when I upload things to YouTube. If you're listening to this on the podcast, then please make sure and hit subscribe on that so that you get notified and so they automatically download and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, right now anyway, I am... At beginning of week three of the 2k plan on the podcasts uh, but of course by the time you watch this who knows where i've got to because of course we're now in a little time bubble with these videos anyway so thank you so much for coming and joining me doing this one i do hope my show of weakness as that got harder and harder was more inspiring than, <laughs> than than destructive for your own cause but it just shows i'm putting in just as much effort as you are to leave me in that kind of a state so I will see you in session two, which I'm very much looking forward to. Have a great day. Stay safe. Goodbye.